let's continue our project and let's go to view full screen we've installed everything from here till here and now I'm going to install stuff that's personal so you don't need to install it you can just follow it and see what you keep what you should really install and what not there are a lot of interesting stuff here okay first up 600 install person settings folders what is this let's move this here it says simply because we are well there are a lot of uh, desktop of environment desktop environments and some of them they do not supply uh, folders yeah like desktop documents downloads data of course data is personal so they won't supply it so that's normal but some of them they have also um, like these ones here they will be created once you install variety once you install sublime text but I want to copy paste my personal settings to those files that do not exist yet so once I run sublime text then he'll make all these folders and put in some files but I want to do I want to put the configuration files before the program has been run so the directories have not been created yet so that's how I fix it but let's get first out of this one because we need to open here a terminal open in terminal and now we can go ahead we could for instance take a look at Eric um, control H I told something about variety I believe it's in here variety so if we press enter a lot of elements are created sublime text is created variety is created and I think that's it so anyway folders that are not there will be created and now I can copy paste scripts to variety for instance I believe that's one of the, the first ones can we put it here no there is no possibility to make one fourth so it's a half of the screen um, let's go back and back and back and back and back and see if that works that works and we're back in 600 here 605 okay first 605 what's that 605 double click it display it what does it do it installs bookmarks and where does it go it goes to the home directory so there is a file always in settings there is uh, here the information bookmarks a hidden hidden folder uh, hidden file actually and we're gonna copy paste it what will happen if we do check out this left side on what program are we on Kaya okay enter I have my files here my folders here every folder the folders that I always go to are back in there so fine there goes mate installation personal that's one 610 what's this 610 let's display it it's keyboard shortcuts we all know the control alt and some of the uh, distros don't provide it we definitely looking for it when on a new uh, distro and it's not functioning it's not working so some of them do not have these st standard uh, shortcuts that we're expecting so this program <coughs> is going to be run it's in settings keyboard shortcuts and it's going to load to load what keyboard shortcuts keyboard shortcuts it's going to load <coughs> something it's first going to be check if dconf is installed so dco tap dconf is installed so there's no problem so it will not it will be just be skipped and then going to load a file this file is going to load this one Ah, we are not sublime text now it's going to load uh, and all, all my shortcuts I like like here the main terminal that's the one we're talking about primary alt T of or control alt T it's going to do this for me okay so let's go to here 
and task ls. So these are all the scripts. 605 we've done, 6010. So the keyboard shortcuts with this script is going to actually run this, which is going to load this into the, well, into the database, kind of database. And let's do that. All right, Control Alt T. It's working. I'm sure it is. So, Control Shift Escape. I saw that one too. System monitor. What system monitor is this? Well, the system monitor of Mate. Okay. So all the shortcuts that I like are also the variety shortcuts. Alt T is trashing a wallpaper. Alt N is next wallpaper. Alt P is previous wallpaper. Alt arrow to the right is next wallpaper and all these things have been programmed or in my fingers. I'm also an i3wm user, so I have these keyboard shortcuts in my finger and I want to use them, keep using them on other distros. That's the only goal. GIMP, we use GIMP from time to time and then we want to have all our elements with us, but we are skipping one, one five first. Using control print screen. Cruise using control print screen, taking a screenshot. It's in PNG. So this is GNOME screenshot. GNOME. GNOME screenshot is possible to tell him, enter, to stop taking pictures with PNG and start taking pictures with GPG. Is there a difference? Yes, in quality. And also in size. A GPG is 200 kilobytes, a PNG is 2 megabytes. Since I am taking pictures to host it on Eric2Boy.pe, that's quite important for me. So that's done. And then we are off to 620. Install the personal settings GIMP. All it does is copy paste a folder that's all about GIMP to the right place. So there are scripts. I like to use arrow to make an arrow to make a shadow bevel layer of x shadows again and a theme which is kind of looks like um, the adobe photoshop look huh? so black okay enter all it does it's going to copy paste some files which have been created gim 2.8 never run it before but scripts are already there and the theme is already there so it's copy pasting the personal stuff like I told you, that's what's the goal. Data, that goes made, installation, personal. Here we are. GIMP, okay. And then we can skip checking out all the rest. So the same applies with Sublime Text. All the personal files will be copied where it should be. You can check it out and open the script. You can see, just one more. You can just open Sublime Text and see what will happen. It's gonna copy paste elements First, this, all this is checking if the directory exists. If you forget to run number 600, it's going to check anyway. And everything in here is going to be copied to packages user. So that's it. All personal copies are being, files are being copied. 635 was the last one. That's an interesting one. Teams, as empty as ever, enter. Art Carlora is a an, uh, an, uh, project of mine to change the art theme from Horse 3180 to any color we like. So there are 16 million colors to choose from. Just put it inside a script and that's what you get. A specific arc theme with a specific color. You can might guess what this is. Blue, so darker blue, red, uh, gray, Takao is orange and that's it. A few colors to test. Okay, back. We were talking about this one. Mate terminal. I have some mate terminal issues of, of preferences. So I have already made all these uh, preferences, but I could have made it myself easy and say copy paste all the elements there. Um, what did I do? 
One moment, what is inside this thing? Oh, okay. So settings, main terminal. The settings for the main terminal is not a file. It's actually put in the database and we should take a look maybe. Let's be thorough. So it's the same approach as the keyboards, shortcuts. And what it says is that what is the background color and this and that, what's the size of the fonts. But it might be possible that I've just done more or less the same. So you will not see the effect. Let's close it anyway and see if there is an effect, but not, not here, not there. Open it here again. I'm not sure if I can see an effect, but I believe it. The program has uh, loaded the, the personal configuration inside the database. And these things will be dealt with separately. So making uh, using another window manager is uh, for another tutorial. Next up is making our system beautiful. We don't have a nice wallpaper. We still have the same icons and all that. So we're gonna make that and then later on the window managers.